Motivation is key to starting anything new. The same principle applies to beekeeping. So once you understand the why, you will always find out the how. My name is Tom Carroll and I'm a beekeeper from Ireland and welcome to this course. Background to beekeeping, start with why. Now in this introductory lecture, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself and my background in beekeeping and also give you an overview of the course. And by the end of the lecture, you'll know a little bit about me and why my more than three decades of beekeeping experience qualifies me to teach this course. You will have a good old overview of the course content as well. Now I have two main areas of interest in my life. One is bees and beekeeping and the other is personal development and psychology. And I came to understand that these interests are actually closely linked, although they appear totally different. So as you go through this course, you will understand why they are closely linked. Now, my first encounter with bees was at a young age of nine. I made my own equipment and sold honey as a teenager in Ireland. I studied and researched beekeeping for both my master's and doctoral degrees. I was head of beekeeping for over 10 years at an agriculture college in Kenya. I published a book, A Beginner's Guide to Beekeeping in Kenya. And I currently keep bees on two continents, Africa and Europe, which gives me an international perspective on beekeeping. Now, I believe this international perspective on beekeeping is essential, as this course is designed to be applicable to you, no matter which country you're in. And I love simple, low-cost approaches to beekeeping. In Lecture 7, I'm going to go into more detail of my own beekeeping journey as a case study of how beekeeping can enhance your life, because I feel I have benefited personally from beekeeping in so many ways, and I'm just really beginning to understand all the various ways. It has taken me a long time to really get to understand the benefits. And you're making a good investment in this course because knowledge is way more important than equipment. Now people can rush out, and I've seen it with beginners, they can rush out and buy lots of equipment. They can spend lots of money. I'm talking about thousands and thousands of euros or dollars on equipment that they don't really need. Now much in terms of beekeeping equipment can be improvised when you know how. And you can keep bees in a simple, low-cost way. But in order to do that, you need knowledge. So investment in your beekeeping education is essential and it's well worth it. So you're going to try and learn as much as you can about bees and beekeeping. And certainly this course will set you off on the right pathway. So what are we going to learn in this course? You're going to learn about bees and beekeeping around the world. You're going to learn about the current plight of bees and why they're in decline and what you can do personally about that. You're going to understand why beekeeping is such a wonderful activity and I mentioned that motivation is key to getting into beekeeping. So I've got to give you that motivation. And I'm going to take you through the many benefits of bees and beekeeping. Indeed there are many. It's not just okay we think of honey, we think of pollination or whatever, but there are very very many and I'm going to show you all the benefits. You're going to learn the broad approaches to beekeeping because you do have a choice in how you go about your beekeeping. There's not just one right way to do it. You're going to learn the history of beekeeping and man's association of, with honeybees. It goes back thousands of years. You're going to get an overview of the international honey trade. You're going to learn about bee stings. Now, whether we like it or not, bee stinging is part of beekeeping. So we must acknowledge and understand bee stings. But the interesting thing is once you understand about bee stings, then you won't fear anymore. Your fear is going to go away. So knowledge gets rid of the fear. You're going to learn where you can go to get further information on beekeeping. And finally, you'll learn the one key step or next action on your journey to becoming a beekeeper. There's one key thing that you need to do. And I'm going to give you that as part of the course. So for your own enjoyment, your own personal development, for the benefit of your family and the local community where you live, and indeed the whole planet, I welcome you and I invite you through this course to the wonderful world of bees and beekeeping. So to recap, 
I have spent the past more than three decades involved with bees and beekeeping and I want to share my insights and experience with you in this course. Knowledge is way more important than equipment. The course will explain what bees are, the many types of bees, the status of bees and what we can do to help them. The course covers the surprising benefits of bees in beekeeping and other topics include broad approaches to beekeeping, the history of beekeeping, the international honey trade and bee stings. And importantly, the course is going to give you the one key next action step to getting started in beekeeping as well as sources of further information. Because as I said, knowledge is power when it comes to bees and beekeeping and knowledge is going to save you a lot of money. At the end of the day, I want you to become a beekeeper. And maybe one day in the future, you might drop me an email and say, hey, Tom, you know, I took your course and now I'm a beekeeper and I love it. And I'd really love to hear that someday in the future. And it can happen. So in the next lecture, we're going to look at what defines a bee as opposed to a wasp, the types of bees, the numbers of bee species, and which bees are kept for beekeeping. So see you in the next lecture.